How you doing, guys? Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Welcome to Late Night in Whitewater for this March 10th, 1999. My name is Dave Holt. Glad you're with us here on Cable 6. Lots of... I'm sorry? Okay! Have another! Um, it's only Wednesday. St. Patrick's Day is next week. Anyway, lots of stuff I want to talk to you guys about. Tons of current events going on. I want to get right to it. You guys remember uh, Crayola crayons? You know, we all did them as kids in first grade. Well, Crayola says that changing the name of their Indian red crayon is really not racially motivated. They're changing the name. Among other changes, Persian blue will now be midnight blue. Red China yellow will now be orange. And Drunken McGreen will now be Kelly Green. Those are all real Crayola names. And you guys didn't get those at all. I'm all for one. An internet company is selling a kit that will help couples conceive in time to have a baby on January 1st, 2000. The kits went on sale last week, and sales are, are I'm sorry, and they sell for around $50 or so. I guess the sales are doing fairly well. However, if Couples don't want uh, to have a baby on the millennium. The company also offers a birth control kit. The kit consists of a coat hanger and a picture of me. As you can tell, I don't write these. Heather Graham, you guys all know Heather Graham, roller girl from, uh, from Boogie Nights. She'll be in the upcoming Austin Powers movie. Yeah, baby, yeah! Heather Graham was honored Tuesday by the Film Theater Owners Convention as the star of Tomorrow. The convention has uh, recognized Graham as an up-and-coming star. I don't understand what the big deal is. I've been up-and-coming for hours now. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have said that. There's more. There's, there's more. Graham was quoted as saying that this comes to the time when I'm ready as an actress to take full advantage of it. Well, that's just perfect. I'm at a point as a host when I'm ready to be taken advantage of. Hey, Heather, give me a call. We'll do lunch. I'm in with Heather. I'm not, you guys are feisty. <laughs> New York Yankees manager Joe Torre will be taking leave of absence due to his recent diagnosis of prostate cancer. Before his departure from his home in Tampa, Florida, Torre left these explicit instructions with team owner George Steinbrenner. This is an I quote, the next time morale is down, when the brakes aren't beating the boys, tell them to give it their all. Tell them to go out there and win one for the pisser. I mean, get her all. Gipper. It's like a mannequin. It's like we have to tell them to laugh. It's like, okay, that was a real laughter. That was good. That was good. That's just, you think you've been drinking with her? Oh, you don't drink, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a very good uh, program lined up for you today. Uh, the Whitewater Martial Arts team is going to be down here showing us some moves and beating the crap out of us, so give them a nice <laughs> Also, uh, Tara Stom from Dance 99 is going to be here in a little bit, uh, telling us all about that. So give Tara a nice golf clap. Yeah. And, and the musical group, I, I just have to say this. Do you like the rock and roll kitties? Yeah. Okay. Musical group Four Octobers is here as well. So give them a nice round of applause. We have to pause for one moment. We come back, uh, the martial arts team. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Former president of Hooked on Ebonics. You see, uh, I kind of had to go out of business because uh, the people that were working for me were like uh, selling their names in the city of Ebonics, and you know, people were never getting their stuff. So, you know, I filed bankruptcy, do my little thing. But don't worry, because I'm back with a new product. What's this, Tom? Tom. <laughs> Urban Fairy Tale. You. Urban Fairy Tales is, uh, takes a look at America's children's favorite stories and sort of like makes them up to date. You know what I'm saying? In fact, uh, here's one right now. Little Miss Stuffet sat on a tuffet making her breasts seem larger. Then came a low rider, hung twice and signed her to work for the Gentleman's Club. Oh yeah, and how about this one? Humpty Dumpty was high as a kite. Humpty Dumpty wanted to get laid tonight. All the strips of bacon and all the French toast screamed, who's your daddy, as they were stroking his roast. Oh, yeah, this one's my favorite. Jack and Jill went up the hill to get their groove on. Jack went inside her and opened her wider, 
and Jill was ready to succumb. And if you call within the next 24 hours, I'll send you some of America's favorite children's games like Hide and Go Get It and Ring Around My Spicoli. <laughs> call now. And don't worry, because the people working for me will get your stuff out. Well, the producers of the show, they came up to me and said, Gordy, this money you're playing, uh, it's getting really old. And I was like, man, that's my trademark. You can't take that away. That's like, uh, that's like Laverne without Shirley. Hmm. That's like McDonald's without fries. Gumby without pokey. Cereal without milk. Man, that's like uh, Frank's without beans. Uh, uh, Paul without Luke. Uh, how can they take my song like that? Man, that's like macaroni without the cheese. Ah. Gordo, you are so money. Yeah, you want to see some money? Huh? You want to see some money? Huh? Is that money enough for you? Huh? Yeah, I was money once. Welcome back to Late Night in Whitewater. Glad you're with us here on Cable 6. Like you are each and every Wednesday night. Uh, the person, I was thinking all day of a clever saying. I couldn't think of one. <coughs> Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi, Dave. How are you? We couldn't think of anything clever. Seriously, I was walking. Me? No. Well, that's okay. I never can think of anything clever about you. No, you're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you laugh at her, but you don't laugh at me. What is that? I like her. <laughs> That's okay, you're a guy. I hope you don't like me. But I can't make any of those references on the show anymore. I'm going to be a good boy today. So, Amy, um, everything's going good? Everything's going well? Yeah. You had a good weekend? A great weekend. How was your day, Dave? My day? Actually, yeah. it was really cruddy. Aww. Seriously, I took some pictures over the weekend of, a, of an event that I was really happy to be at, and they didn't give them all to me. What, Seriously. Like the photographer, or the... All the pictures. I got them developed. The photography place didn't give me all my pictures. I still have the proofs, and I was really peeved about that. Wow. So I'm going to sue. That's rough, dude. I know. Some pe there are starving people in China, and I'm pissed about pictures. <laughs> my priorities are just... W were there a lot of hot girls on there or something? Nope. Or? Only men. <laughs> hey, buddy. Guess we can't make any of those references on air, right? I guess not. Oh, well, I think it's our time to uh, tune to our lovely... <laughs> do, do, do. Hey. Our bass player, Gordy. Hey, Gordo. Hi. What's Gordy on? is lovely. Thank you. I, I just want to make something clear, okay? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Like, you know how I play Money by Pink Floyd on the show all the time, right? <laughs> yeah. That's what that skit was about. If, oh. if you didn't pick that up, right? Okay. The producers, yeah. they don't want me to play it ever again. Well, neither do we. Well, I like that song. We, we told them to tell you. It's my trademark. Want. It is. You just but... took my trademark. You took my identity on the show. <laughs> Sorry. Like that. You feel good about yourself now? I'm damn proud, Gordo. Hey, I, I, mean, I didn't ask you this. Yeah. Is that your name, Gordy? Is that on your birth certificate? Well, it's kind of like how uh, Johnny. It's kind of, you know, it's a little different, but it's like John. Like, yeah. Okay, Gordon. Gordy. So it's your name like is short. So your name is Gordon. Your parents yeah. called you Gordon. Gordon. It's Any my dad's name. Do they like Sesame Street as a child? Uh, it has nothing to do with it. Oh, I, because he's black and you're not, and he's got a mustache and you don't, and well, he's old and you're not. Anyways. Maybe someday. I'm having trouble. Hey, okay, well, Gordy, guys, uh, Gordy's here each and every week belting out the tunes. Give him a nice round of applause. Good job, Gordy. Play money. Play money. Also, uh, the heartthrob of the show is our, uh, is our stage manager down here, and he's here each and every week. He contains the crowd, and he does his best. His name is John Steiger. Hi, John. Hi, John. You look, um, you look very dapper today, Jonathan. <laughs> I, I try, Dave. I try, you know, I gotta compete a little bit. So this is, um, this is our fifth show this semester, huh? I now think so. Now think about it. Do you, you, you accustomed to what's going on? You know? Um, yeah. Pretty, pretty set into it, you know, be here about 9.30 so we can start <laughs> in 20 minutes. Hold on! Thank you. Okay, enough from you. <laughs> Jeez. The crowd. No Heineken. Wild. <laughs> man, oh man. But John, uh, it's a pleasure you're here as always. I, and I, I think we're, it's time to bring out our first guest. What do you think? Th I think we should go to the first guest. I maybe. think so too. Should I bring him out? Probably. Let's do it. it. <laughs> not yet, what not is yet. That? What are you guys on today? <laughs> Holy cow. Jeez. Our first